Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Tonight we are going to be doing something really, really fun. Um, I ordered some Amsterdam Expert Series Indigo, which is this color, and it has finally arrived. And I'm so excited about it. I absolutely love this color. It's like somewhere kind of between Prussian Blue and the Payne's Gray. And it's just beautiful, and I'm really, really excited to use it. So I'll show you what I'm using it with and uh, then we'll go ahead and get started. First of all, this is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in. So let's get that out of the way. Okay, so first color we're using is Amsterdam. Actually, everything is Amsterdam. Well, not everything. Almost everything is Amsterdam. <laughs> this is Amsterdam Red Violet. Everything is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol and a little bit of water to thin it out. So I am using eight ounce cups tonight instead of 16 ounce cups. So we're gonna see how that goes. And these cups also have little lids that I can put on them. <laughs> so that's the permanent red violet. Uh, then we have here the permanent blue violet, which is just a delicious, delicious color. I love that. This one is titanium white. And this one is my indigo. So this is Amsterdam Expert Series Indigo. It has proven a little harder to find <laughs> than some of the other colors, but I just, I love it. It's dreamy. Okay, so what was next? This one is one of my absolute favorites. I really like this color. This is Amsterdam Greenish Blue. And I think I've been saying bluish green, <laughs> but this is the greenish blue, and I really, really like this color. I think because it reminds me of Golden's Turquoise Thalo. Very, very cool color. Now this one is their pearl blue, which has a slight color shifty sort of iridescence to it. And this one is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt. This is actually leftovers from a couple of the last two pours, which we did um, Hobbit Trails, where we were inspired by Julie E. Art, um, acrylic painting with Julie. She's awesome. Check out her channel if you want to. This was cool. Um, this is the metallic cobalt from Artist Loft. And last but not least is my Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. So everything's leaving a mound on a mound and then sinking right away. Um, that big cup is the same as this one. It is the permanent blue violet, but it is mixed thinner. So that's a thinner consistency that I'm going to be using for my low extender. Okay, so for a 24 by 24, we need approximately 21 ounces of paint. So I have here two 16 ounce cups. I think what I'm gonna do is just pour one 16 ounce cup. And I also have a little eight ounce one like those. Well, let's see, we'll just use that one for now. And if we need more paint, we'll pour it. Okay, so what do we want to start with? Let's put just a tiny bit of gold in the center. We're gonna do a ring pour on that one. Put a little bit of gold in there and a little bit of the pearl blue. Now I want to come in actually with the indigo, or do I? Let's put a little tiny bit of the metallic cobalt in first. And then some of our indigo. Oh, dreamy. <laughs> Okay, now do I want to put some gold against that? Yes, I do. Well, let's put some of the pearl blue in first and then the gold. Because I don't really want it to go green. I don't mind if it goes a lighter blue, but I don't want green. Okay, now some gold. And then let's come in with this beautiful red violet. Which is just a lovely color. And we're gonna go right into our blue violet. And we're gonna put a little bit of white in there. And we're gonna come back to the indigo. Greenish blue. Okay. And the 
pearl blue. And the gold. And I want to put that permanent red violet in again. And the blue violet. Shot of white on there. And a little bit more metallic cobalt. Okay. I think we're just going to put a little bit more of this on there just to fill it up a bit more. Okay. That's cool. So, that's one. I think I'm going to go ahead and I can't get these apart, so I'm just going <laughs> to pour it in that. Um, this is eight ounces. So, that's 16. So we need 21, so we need about five ounces. So that's probably about there. Okay, so let's see. That has the white and gold in the center. So this one, I'm gonna start it with the permanent red violet. And we're just gonna kind of repeat that same color pattern. I love these two colors next to each other. They're so pretty. of the pearl blue and come back with that greenish blue and some indigo and we're probably getting close to where we need to be doesn't matter if we put a little bit extra on there a little bit of white and some gold So that's probably seven ounces. That's okay. <laughs> I'm all right with that. Okay. Oh, you know what? I was going to move those over there. So we don't knock them over. Okay. And we have our flow extender standing by over there. Move those over there. Let's bring you over here. That's a 24 by 24. We're going to put a little puddle of gold down to pour into. husband of awesomeness. Thank you. Getting so romantic close to Valentine's Day this month. <laughs> Here we go. Cool. I don't think I want to pour anything around that inside that anymore. Yeah, let's do let's do some little ones around it instead. And that's so pretty. I love that center. Now we'll just go. Are you ready? We're gonna go this way. Come back through it again. Okay. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. I like that. I love that. You get a of that? Okay. Let's move these over. 
That was fun. Look at that cup. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, let me base coat down first. Okay, so we're gonna take our flow extender now. And this is that same permanent blue violet. I have thinned this out though a lot more. See, it's just barely leaving a mound and sinking. Okay. Okay. So this is the permanent blue violet. This is our flow extender. This is exactly the same as that paint over there. It's just I have added more water to this one. So it's leaving a slight mound and then sinking right away. So it's thinner than that paint. And the function of this is to help our paint slide around easily and not lose our really cool design. So we're gonna go around this. And make sure we have them on our corners. This is actually like really different because I'm not worried about the paint setting up right away with the wind blowing on it. Not that we don't love Gale, we do. but it's kind of nice to paint without worrying about her. All right, we're gonna torch this. Pop any air bubbles. Okay. All right. So, do we love, I love all of it actually. I think we're gonna bring this corner down this way first. And sort of open this thing up also. Maybe we should take this to the edge first, I think. Extender was thin enough. Yes. <laughs> That's good. Take that right there and let it hook over either side. rolling over some of that gold, I'm totally okay with that. If it keeps going though, okay, see now it's moving. I'm just gonna give this a shove this way for a second. We'll come back to that corner again because I don't want to lose what's up here on this corner. We're gonna go down now.
I, I really like all these colors. They're so pretty. This is not stretched out because I didn't take this off because of this. Because I got greedy. I do like that a lot though. I don't really want to lose it. And I think the center kind of looked neat. But I do need to do something about this. So, even though these kind of big bubbly cells are really cool over here, I think we're going to try to go down off of that corner now. Get the way of the paint on its way over there. Sort of stretch things out a bit. Get closer to that edge. itself a little bit. All right, where were we? We're going down that way. I really love this over here on this top part. I want to keep that. And I like what's happening down there with all those cells. It's kind of neat too. It might actually be kind of done. But there's this like kind of wave of paint moving. I'm just going to let that spread out and stretch down towards that bottom corner. Because the more that stretches, the more this part will open up and start to sell more. This is really neat. And once that goes off, then I'll bring it back this way. It'll... back and forth with these, the bigger they'll actually get. Actually, I'm not that crazy about all of this, so I might let some of that go off. Some of that darker purple part in the middle. off and then we will look at it. I like what's happening now. I like how the colors are blending. I like how the colors are layered. I like what's happening with the different parts. I actually like that this is here. I thought I might be angry that it wasn't being stretched out, but I love what's happening in there. Those cells are amazing. These are really beautiful. This color, I don't know if you guys can see, it's like gold with a, just a really thin layer of that permanent violet on there, the red violet. So it's kind of like this pinky, kind of peachy sort of gold color on top of that indigo, which is in here. 
yummy, yummy, yummy. I like it. I like the blue green in there. I like the cobalt. Very cool. Very cool. Not so crazy about this light purple, but I can live with it. That's from putting the white next to the purple. All right, this is neat. Let me torch it one more time. And we will be finished. But I'm going to clean up my corners and edges and uh, HOA will kind of give you a little close up tour and then I'll show you when it's dry. Thanks for being here with us guys. I'll see you soon. Okay, so this is a few days later now, and this is totally dry. I am absolutely in raptures over this piece. I love how this turned out. I see a blue whale diving deep, and I see a bunch of bubbles and gold cells. I really love those gold cells against that indigo. Right in there is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And we got some of that permanent red violet mixed in with the gold. So these cells over here are really just, this whole side is amazing. <laughs> and those ripples, those lines look like ripples in the sand on the bottom of the ocean to me. Beautiful stuff happening in this piece. This is that edge that I was like, there's some red violet in the gold and it's making that sort of peachy color. And then we go up on this side, more beautiful, beautiful lines. I love these colors. That indigo is amazing, especially next to that cobalt blue. Up here, this corner tried a little darker than I'm happy about, but it still looks pretty cool. This is the side with that second wandering ring pour. I don't know if you guys can see the red violet in there, but it's really, really pretty. And again, gives that illusion of ripples on the bottom of the ocean floor. Very cool stuff. I really like this piece. <laughs> We're going to call this Mr. Seti because the blue whale is part of the suborder Mr. Seti. The blue whale is actually the largest mammal on Earth, which is pretty cool. They can be up to 30 meters long and weigh about 175 tons. <laughs> which is huge. I read somewhere they have a heart the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. So that's pretty big. <laughs> anyway, this turned out awesome. I'm very happy with this piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This one will be called Miss Dissetti. And uh, I will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for being here with us. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, make sure you check out our Pour the Love collaboration that's happening February 13th and 14th. 10 amazing fluid artists. It's going to be an epic, epic good time. So we will see you soon. Thank you so much. Have a great day.